What is up everybody? Thanks for watching Modded by P for another episode of Working on This Truck. In my last couple videos I had installed a 4.6 drop kit on this Silverado. So we had to uh, c-notch the uh, frame on both sides and we got our hardware bolted up but today's main goal is to put some drop shackles on the rear so pretty much all the research that I did on these trucks when people were lowering them they said that you'd have to lower the rear even further basically to make it level so that's what we're doing today and as you can see I kind of rough fitted one right here just with the bolt hole in the hole so you can kind of see the size difference from like where it is to where it goes um it's not terrible um i'm not sure if i'm going to go for the lowest setting which is uh exactly two inches versus the one inch although my truck kind of sits kind of high but i also have a pinion angle going on here um so we're going to try to correct that as well first thing i'm going to try to do is get this lower bolt off because I think if I get the lower bolt off I'll be able to lift it over and down and basically take the top bolt off that's my plan anyway we go and see well bottom bolts are out now I can get to the top I don't think I'm gonna be able to swing it down like I was thinking but I can access it from right here so it should be fine got her in there didn't actually go over the side like I was thinking what I actually ended up doing was just lifting it high enough so that the bolt will come out the other side, no problem. So yeah, gonna, seems to be like a tight fit here. It's probably my next problem. This probably needs to be opened up a little bit. Same thing on the other side, I already got that one going. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna try to uh, put a pair of pliers or something on that. Bend it out so it'll go in easy. Put the bolt in it. Bolt her down. Got them both in there. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna um just lower the truck right now with the bolts like hand tightened and just see where we're at. If it's even possible to do this. Because if not, I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually cut the end of this thing off to be able to put the bolt in the way I just did with this one. Because right now I it just hits the bed up there. And doesn't let me get to the second hole so we'll see gonna put these tires back on and drop her back down on the ground all right let's see what happens fully released Is it looks a little lower in the back, but it doesn't look bad. I think we're gonna roll with this. Let me put some weight on it to see what happens. Wow, it's a squeaky son of a bitch. I don't know what all that's about, but. Yeah, that's pretty settled. We're gonna rock this thing. Two inches seems fucking good. I like that. Much more tire tucked. Yep. Mm hmm. This is happening. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna jack it back up. Tighten the bolts down a little bit more. But I kind of want to leave everything loose because of the. I'm about to adjust that pinion angle for the differential. Aha, so fast forward, week and a half. Issue was we were having a diff hitting one of the bed braces going across since I lowered it another two inches with these new rear shackles here. So 
I ended up having this like heat shield too that was for the exhaust. I had to cut some of that out just to make sure I had enough clearance. I don't want to cut it twice. So I one and done it. Here's the piece I pretty much cut out the first time and it was a little too small, like narrow eyes. I think the diff was still gonna potentially hit on the sides or whatever. So I took a little bit more, which I'm about to show you now. basically left like one side of it and then took the other side off only had like one um, pinch weld that I had to drill out I kind of already painted it just so the bare metal isn't messed up but uh yeah I did uh, make a boo-boo like an idiot and I cut through my bed so now we're about to weld up my bed I got just one little line it's kind of like weld practice it's probably gonna look like shit but I don't care sealed. They ground it up one time. Knock some of that surface shit off and then we'll see what it looks like. Well, definitely a grinder. It's one little hole right there. I'm gonna fill it. So, little sandpaper, 150 action. Yeah, it's starting to look good though. Once a little bit of paint gets on there, you'll never know. So really this whole bed needs love. I just haven't gotten there yet. Bada bing bada boom. Never know. It's just rust and shit everywhere. This is the parts right here I care the most about. Oops, I just stepped in it while I was going over here. The other one. Eh, didn't get it bad. I'm just wasting paint. Yeah. Waiting on my homie to show up. S14 needs a damn <laughs> bolt for the damn engine mount. Keep forgetting. I've been driving the car with only one bolt in it. Truck's looking pretty good. Got it slizammed down. Homie Sean hooked it up with a sticker. It's kind of small because I don't really want to advertise, but I thought it was cool. Modded by P, bitches. So, yeah. Ant's coming with a surprise for me. You'll see when he gets here. Well, look who just showed up. This motherfucker. Looking clean. Sup? You're on camera. I nah. Got, uh, delivery for you, man. Nah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Awesome. It's fucking hella dark right here, so. Yeah, bro, you start quitting now. Yeah, it sucks. Cause I like to work on shit in the afternoon and I can't. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I can't boy. see nothing but the red light gleaming. Bang. Bang. Yes, sir. Uh, what size do you have? Uh, 18 by 10 and a half. So these would be your fronts then. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Perfect. Perfect.